What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing Mecha Crow from Brawl Stars. Let's get started in the center of our page with the beak. So we move up to the top and draw the top edge of the beak with a straight line from left to right going across. Now back on the left side we're going to curve down and then in towards the center. Let's start out here, curve down and just bend that in. Go up to the right and do the same thing, coming down toward that center point. Now from that bottom point, we're going to angle up and then out. Start with the left side, going out to right about there. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go up with a short line. And we'll come up in an angle towards the top of the beak. From the top corners of the beak, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up and out along the top of the eyes. So let's start with the left, going up and then out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Draw a straight line coming down the side of the head. Just come down to right about there. And we're going to angle down and in towards the outside corner of the beak. With a straight line. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting from the inside corner, angle down and out. And we'll angle up and out underneath the brow. From the top corner of the eye, we're going to step out, draw a short line coming down. We're going to follow that same angle of the eye, coming down and then into right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Draw a short line coming down. And down, and then in. And then from here we're going to angle up and in behind the beak. And then we'll fill that outer trim in black. Now I just want to trace this out on the outside. So from this line we're going to step out, draw a straight line coming down. And we'll angle down and in towards the bottom line. Now let's move out and draw on the cheeks. From the outside corner of the eye, we draw a straight line going out on either side. And then we're going to come down with a short line. And we're going to angle in towards the bottom of the eye. And down and in. From the bottom corners of the beak, I want to take the same angle line and go out. We're not going to go all the way, we're going to go out to right about there, so we can angle up and out towards the top of the cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right. Angling up and out, and go up towards the bottom corner of the cheek. Let's move up and draw the wing around the top of the head. Starting from the inside corner, draw a straight line going up. Now I'll take that same length line and draw them on the outside corners of the eye, going straight up. Let's close off the top. On the left side, I'm gonna draw a straight line going across. Now I'm gonna go up in an angle towards the outside line. And then from the top corners, we're gonna angle up and out towards the outside of the wing. And we want to come down with that same length line along the outside to right about there. And then we're going to come down and in towards that bottom corner. Let's flatten off the top. Starting from the corner, we're going to come in with a straight line on both sides. Now we just want to trace this out along the top. Starting on the left side, come down and in. I'm just going to leave an even space gap all the way around along the top. And then from these inside points, we're going to curve in and then up toward the center point. Going right up towards the middle, and then curve out, and then down towards the right. Let's add some detail to the top of the head. We start from the corners, we're going to step in, draw a straight angle line going up, 
and an end towards the middle and close off the top with a straight line. Now let's go to the top of the wings. From this line we're going to step down, draw a straight line going across both sides and we're going to fill those in black. Now we want to extend the bottom of this line down the side, coming all the way down towards the bottom. We're going to fill the outside area in black. Let's do the same thing on the right, just extending this down, and we'll fill that in black. Now halfway down this line, we're going to angle down and in on both sides. Now we're going to follow that same angle, coming about halfway, coming into right about there. And then we'll pull that straight up towards the top line. Then we're going to step in, draw another line coming down. Step in again, do that one more time. And we're just going to flatten off the bottom with that same angle line that we have on the outside. Do the same thing on the right. Draw that first line, stepping in, and then we'll close off the bottom. And then at the top of these three lines, we're going to angle up and in towards that inside line. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we want to take this line, step up and just duplicate that going across, angle up and out towards the sides, and then we'll come in with a short line. Now let's work our way back in. Drawing a short line coming down and in, and then closing off the center. All right now we're going to move down and start with the top of the body. Let's start with a straight line going across from left to right just underneath the beak. And then from the end of the line we're going to draw a straight angle line going up and in behind the head. And then from the corners we're going to draw a straight line coming down the side of the body. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's add a trim. We're going to step in from the side, draw a straight line coming down on either side. Then we'll angle up and in behind the beak. Let's leave a small gap and draw the top edge of the lower torso. So we're going to step in, to the left will go straight across towards the right. Come down with a short line, down the hips. Now I'm just going to pull this in with another short line and then we'll come down the side. Now let's close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to go back up and connect the top and the lower part of the body. So from the outside corner, we're going to step in, draw a line going up, and the same thing on the right. Let's draw the hinge along the hip. Starting from this corner, curve down and then in towards the bottom corner. Now from that same bottom corner, we're going to curve out and then down on both sides. Now we're going to overlap the boots on top of the leg. From this point, we're going to step down, draw a straight angle line going up and then out. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And then from the inside, we'll draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the bottom of the foot. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the heel. And curve down and then up towards the toe. And then from the toe, I'm going to curve up and then in. Right about there. And we'll pull this in and down towards the bottom of the foot. Now I'm going to go back to the outside of the cuff and draw a straight angle line coming down and out on top of the foot. And then from the bottom of this line, we draw that same angle line going up and in. Now we move back up and draw the outside of the leg. Starting from the corner, step in, curve up and in behind the hips. And we're just going to add a separation line. Starting from the outside, curve down and then in. Let's move back up and draw on the shoulders. From this corner, we're going to step up. Draw a straight line going out towards the outside of the shoulder. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And we'll pull this up and in behind the head. Now 
Let's go back down towards the bottom corner. Draw a straight line coming down. And we'll pull that in with a straight line behind the body. Let's add that arrow detail in the shoulders. Starting in the center, start with a point. And go down and out towards the left. And then down and in towards the right. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with that point. Come down and in. And then out. And then we'll add that trim on the outside of the shoulder. From this line, step in. That same angle line going out. And then follow that all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's move down and draw the large forearms. From the bottom corner of the shoulder, we're going to step out. Right out here, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming down and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Stepping out, angling down and in. From the inside, draw a straight angle line going down and out towards the wrist. And then we'll draw that same angle line going up and out towards the outside of the arm. And we'll close off the outside with a straight angle line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and out, and coming down. And from the outside corner, we're going to step up, draw another line going up and out, and we're going to curve this up and in toward the top corner of the forearm. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then from this bottom line, we're going to step up, draw a straight angle line going all the way in toward the inside of the forearm. Now we're going to connect the arms to the shoulder. From the inside corner, we're going to step out, curve up and in behind the body on both sides. Now we're going to step out and draw that same curve going in behind the shoulders. And then we'll add the hands underneath the forearm. Starting from the inside corner, we draw the thumb, curve in and then out with a small half circle. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the corner, curving in and then out, and add the bracket. And now we're going to add three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, we curve down and up around that bracket. Step down, curve out, and then up the second finger. And then the third finger, we're going to go out and pull that up in behind the wrist. We're going to leave a little overlap on the outside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting underneath the thumb, step down, curve out and up the second finger. And then the third finger is going to go up and in behind the wrist. And that's pretty much it. There's the Mecha Crow from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.